What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And for this video I'm going to be addressing a very specific group of people. This is for the people that have never played a fighting game before in their life. They have no idea about anything at all. They're brand new, they have very minimal experience, and the goal is to take those people at a very basic level and get them to a level where they can win more games than they lose. At least up until a certain point. But by then they'll have all the tools to learn what they need to improve on. So like I said, this is going to be a pretty step-by-step -step guide. So what I want you to do if this is your first time loading up the game, is I want you to go in training mode and pick your three favorite characters. Don't worry about tiers or anything else. Dragon Ball Fighters is way too new of a game to even be worried about tiers right now. For the purpose of this video, I'll be choosing Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. Let's start by covering a few of the movement options offered in Dragon Ball Fighters. So you have your standard jump, and you can jump diagonally forward or diagonally backward. And then you have your super jump. By holding down before you go up, you can jump a bit higher. You have your forward dash, which is done by pressing forward twice on your controller and holding it the second time. And you also have your back dash, which is done by pressing backwards twice. You can also perform this dash while in the air. You can perform something that's called an instant air dash by clicking up forward and then forward twice really quickly. You can also do the same thing backwards. You can perform attacks out of these dashes, which is why it's something you'll want to learn eventually during your time with Dragon Ball Fighters. Try not to get too hung up on that for now though. Then you have your super dash, which is done by pressing your heavy and key attack button at the same time. This move allows you to dash right towards your opponent, and it also deflects normal key blast. Now remember, it doesn't deflect key beams like the Kamehameha. After you've practiced moving around for a little, it's time to start looking at your character's buttons. And I'm not referring to your character's special moves. I'm talking about what your character does when you hit the light button, the medium button, the key button, and the heavy button and how these buttons change depending on whether you're crouching, standing, or in the air. Let's take a look at Goku's buttons and how they change depending on what action he's taking. So up first we have his standing light, which is just a quick jab. Then we have his standing medium, which is him throwing an elbow. Then we have his standing key blast, and that's what it looks like when you hold it. And then we have his standing heavy attack, which will actually launch opponents on hit, allowing you to follow them up with a super dash for a combo. But we'll go more into that later. Now let's take a look at what they look like when he's crouching. So his crouching light is now him throwing a jab while ducking, his medium button has turned into a kick, his heavy button has turned into an uppercut that also launches the opponent, and his down key has turned into an angled key projectile that goes upwards. The buttons also change when used in the air. Goku's light button is now a jab that takes place in the air, his medium is now a kick that takes place in the air, and his heavy attack is now a swinging motion that will bring your opponent back down to the ground. Now it is important to note that Dragon Ball Fighters has two auto combos that can be done by pressing the light button repeatedly and the medium button repeatedly respectively. Here's what Goku's light auto combo looks like. And here's his medium auto combo. After you look at your normal buttons, it's time you look at your character's special moves. All of these are done by performing either a quarter circle forward and a press of a button, or a quarter circle back and a press of a button. To find your character's special moves, just pause and go to the special move list. So looking at Goku's, you can see I have the Dragon Flash Fist, which is performed by a quarter circle forward and hitting X, Y, or B. Now depending on which button you hit, whether it be Light, which is X, Medium, which is Y, or Heavy, which is B, the move will have different traits. So this is what Goku's move looks like when you hit Light, this is what it looks like when you hit medium, and this is what it looks like when you hit heavy. Now if you notice, that last heavy version cost me a bar of meter. That's something that you notice with all of these. You'll see in the top right it says version consumes one key gauge. We call these EX moves, and they're usually empowered versions of the normal special move. After looking at your special moves, you can then look at your super moves, which are done by performing the same quarter circle forward motion, this time just hitting RB or RT. And then you have your move that's done by performing quarter circle back and RB, which in this case costs three bars instead of one. That's all the offense I want to cover for now, but we will cover a little bit more after this next segment. The reason I'm separating the two is because this segment is just as important as offense, if not more so, and that's defense. So in order to practice your defense, you have to expose yourself to the scenarios numerous times and get better at reacting to them. Against human opponents, you can get better at expecting patterns and what they plan on hitting you with, and then you can guard appropriately. If you don't have anybody to play with, however, and you don't want to practice in ranked, then just go into the enemy behavior settings, turn it to CPU, and then turn the CPU level all the way up to level 100, and don't bother attacking, just defend. This is just to practice your defense. Now there are three things you need to know about defense. In order to block lows, you have to block by holding down back. You'll be able to tell you're blocking by holding down back if your character is crouching. In order to block overheads, you need to be blocking by just holding back. 
This leaves you vulnerable to low attacks, so you need to be able to react appropriately. There is also something called Dragon Rush in this game, that will hit you even if you are blocking. In order to stop this, you have to hit any attack button when it's coming at you. This means defense is something you'll have to be thinking about a lot when your opponent is attacking you, as they can mix you up three ways. And that's not even taking into consideration the fact that they can cross you up. So in general, to block you hold away from your opponent, and if you want to block a low, you hold down and away from your opponent. It's also critical that you remember that on defense, you always block depending on where their point character is. Whoever they're fighting you with is who you're blocking against. It doesn't matter if their assist is behind you and they're in front of you. The game will automatically block the assist for you. Dragon Ball Fighters also has a defensive mechanic known as Reflect, which can be performed by holding back and pressing the key button. If you successfully reflect, you'll push your opponent away from you, giving you a chance to retaliate and get some space. And now for the second segment of offense, which is going to be covering manual combos. Now I'm not going to go into any crazy Goku-specific combos, I'll just cover a similar variant of the same universal combo that I covered in an older video. But this time I'm going to show you how to break it down piece by piece, and why it works. So let's start by hitting them with two jabs very quickly. After the two jabs you can hit them with a down medium, and then a standing medium. The standing medium is unique because you can jump out of it. Try jumping diagonal and forward to them, so that you can continue hitting them with another light and medium. Then you can hit them with a down heavy attack, which allows you to chase them with a super dash, and then you can jump cancel that into another light and medium. If you run through this enough times, you should understand how to jump cancel, and then the entire combo system will really open up to you. Here's what a very basic universal combo looks like with Goku. All right, well, that's about all I wanted to cover in this one video. I know I've kind of covered these topics in the past, but I really wanted to put it into one big video so, so that somebody new to the game can just find this video, pick it up, and learn how to get to a decent level relatively quickly. Especially on defense. I've seen way too many people lose because they don't know how to block. If you have anything else you want to learn about, anything at all, please leave it down in the comments below, as I'll be down there as always. And if you liked the video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.